week. Come on, let's go. Quite the weekend. Our is back. We got shoes to ship, drop. Look, look, getting finished up this morning. Lots of, whoa, lots of stuff going. Here, gonna meet up with Ern, figure out what's up. Get this done, start painting. The next eight days, all painting. Paint, 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 paint. Ger German Ern, German. German is in the building. German Dupree. I'm back. I'm back. In a box. In a box. It's a dick in a box. Is it? Shoes are going out. The whole regular drop of shit, friends and family, is on its way today. The movement and lookbook. Air frying life. Talk. I saw. It's one of the most amazing things I've ever bought. I've cooked dinner the last, last night's the only night I haven't cooked dinner in like a week. I have been eating no sugar, but then last night I forgot about the rice over there. When we got there, I was like, oh, I forgot about the rice bowls. Fuck. Her mom lit a fucking marshmallow on fire on purpose and just like sat there and let it burn. Box matching. Yo, straight up, look at me right now. If you don't take those fucking rings off of your camera, oh. I'm gonna beat you within an inch of your fucking life. Why, well, you could hear him again? Oh. Yes, it's maddening. Maddening, <laughs> motherfucker. Oh. Yeah, we're trying to get all this shit shipped. Shiptuated. Everything, it's a shipping day. Shippity ship ship. I'm supposed to be painting and I'm shit. I just have like 10 more boxes to grab. This is nothing, dude. This is the fucking third. Yeah. This is the post office. Between this, the regular drop, the family drop. I like how you're talking and pulling that tape like oh. we can hear anything you're saying. Like you don't hear the tape? I do. Okay. Yes, yeah, it's, it's. We're shipping a lot today. Shipping, I'm booking rooms. I gotta book all my, which is why I need to run to the shop real quick. All right. I gotta go grab my schedule. Here, I can be done because I literally. Well, I don't need you. So that's oh. what I'm saying. Right, we'll do what you gotta do then. I'll be here. All right. I'll be right back then. Yeah. Okay. We're not going anywhere, dude. Just moving out this product. Just moving out this weight. Get you a puppy treat off of this. <laughs> Abner just sleeps. Are you embarrassed? You embarrassed? You embarrassed because you sleep all day? <laughs> He's like, nope. Hey. I just came up to grab my schedule. Dang. What? Cleared it out. Yeah. That's like all the stuff left. Nice. Can I help you with something? This is all the new stuff. Nice. Sweet. I thought I was gonna come into packages everywhere. Well, my house looks completely different. These look good. Oh, that shit, dirty air and cleaned up? I cannot fucking believe it. Wait a second, yeah, let's see. Oh, well, he did clean up a little bit. We almost got them all out of here. Most orders shipped today, everything marked shipped, but it's... It's shipping. Everything will be gone by tomorrow. The friends and family order, everything is shipped, and the public drop is shipped. Some people still don't get why I started friends and family. Here's one thing I can say. We have not had really any issues, especially not like before. My Twitter used to be full answering questions all day because I actually give a fuck about what happens and how fast people get stuff. It's been amazing, amazing, amazing. It's a lot of work. We're all working really hard. So everything is shipped. Everything is shit. Aside from one pair of NMDs, you know, I'm not trying to call anybody out, and I'm not gonna call you out, but one person canceled their order for after the sale, didn't get the response they wanted because their message basically said they had buyer's remorse after the sale was over. Yeah, I mean, that's essentially what it was, buyer's remorse. Then instead of going taking the proper channels and route, they went and filed a PayPal claim. I'm gonna sell the pair to somebody else, and it won't be that hard, which was one of his points, but that's also not the point. You can't buy something and then say, well, it's not that hard for you to sell it. You shouldn't have bought it. But you also should not have gone around and filed a PayPal claim either. It's kind of annoying to say that that's the only way you can get your money back. Also annoying because you can hit me up directly. My DMs are open on Twitter and Instagram or you can go in like a whole different manner. Problem is, no matter who you are, this is not how you do business. You cannot do back and forth business like that and be like, well, I saw that the price dropped on other stuff, so it may have dropped on those NMDs. It may have have but that you doesn't mean that you would have gotten them. I'm definitely gonna refund the kid his money I thought about fucking with him you and for like the whole however long I could possibly do it with PayPal just to tie your money up just to be annoying just to be petty teach you a lesson but I don't like being a fucking dickhead so I'm not gonna do that either just don't do shit like that don't go around filing fucking claims and doing silly shit you know it's just not okay. I just finished some drawings. We haven't gotten any painting done yet today. So, what time are we at? We're at like 2.30, 3 o'clock. I'm pretty, oh, 2.51. I've also been crushing it in Mortal Kombat 11 and fairly convinced that I'm like pro level. 
capabilities. Well, especially for streaming. Like if I was streaming Mortal Kombat 11 every day, I feel like I would be top Mortal Kombat streamer in the world and pretty good. I mean, I'm crushing it in the ranked matches. I'm just saying. I play with Scorpion only right now, but I'm just saying, dog. Like I've been doing that a little bit at night on Twitch. If you want MK11 smoke, come on through. I'll be fine. I'll rip your head right off. No problem. Get right over here, dog. All right, more work. So last week, we copped this from Purple Haze, the uh, pometer, turpometer. So this side you used to dab with. This side is a thermometer. It gauges the temperature, tells you red, green, red too hot, green go, blue too cold. Works pretty well. Temperatures have been pretty consistent. I like it. It's a little like hard to get used to because I wasn't using it as a dabber as for, at first. And I'm assuming this comes, yeah, this comes off so you can get new attachment. I don't love, it's not a big enough scoop for me. It's cool. It works. It's like 120 bucks retail. Charge, it holds a charge forever. This thing's been charged once. It's almost dead now. I really enjoy a perfectly timed dab. All right, which brings us to this. As soon as I posted this one, people were like, you gotta try this one. So now I got this one too. This one's from Temptech. So this is a completely different setup. These are a hundred bucks. Everything's hype, bro. You know what I'm saying? Everything in the world got that hype. Got to glow in the dark. In case you gotta take a dab in the middle of the night. Find your way. There's the unit. The item. A little 3D printed casing, I guess. So that's kind of cool. Temp tech. Bam. User guy. Temperature range. Oh god, this is like a full on fucking. You have to have a formula for how far away. Distance to spot ratio. Let's just read our temperature for us. Where its max was and where it's dropping. And we wanted around 540. That's the goal. 550, 540. Depends. This is probably, probably want a little hotter than this because this is directly reading off the glass. This is reading the airspace around it. It'll be interesting to see. Oh, it drops really low too. Like when you move it out of the way, it's gone. <laughs> I don't know which one I like more. I'll have to tell you soon enough. First, I got to email them about this color. I don't even know if I care. I mean, I guess I don't really care. I don't really want a white one. It's gonna get disgustingly dirty. I'm hungry. Don't be mumbling. Don't be silently mumbling to yourself. I always wonder what you're thinking in your head after I say something to you. He's like, yeah, right, right, right. fuck it. I'm not the boss. You're not so my boss. So we're going to Japan. Yeah, I booked our Airbnb. I got night. 10 days. So here's the thing about booking an Airbnb in Japan. You might as well stay 28 plus days. You're actually, not you. You aren't. I know your wife will not allow you to stay 28. But what? if you're going, anyone but this guy riding on my fucking 28 plus day coattails. No, no. Well, here's what I'm saying. If you wanted to go by yourself for 10 days, let's just say oh. you want to go by yourself for 10 days, your lodging would cost you fucking three grand. Wait a minute. How? I was looking up last night for just a week because I was like, oh, fuck it. I'll just stay a week here, a week there, a week here, and a week there. Every single place that wasn't a shithole. Well, there's the difference. Was no, like a real shithole and not even close. Like your place was close to town at least. Our place was cool. And where we stayed yeah. is booked up until fucking uh, next year. It's yeah. like completely booked up. We got in there like perfect timing. But anyway, it would have cost me in each place for a comparable place that I have for the month. Yeah. It would have been three grand a week. It's 300 bucks a night, 200. It's all so equivalent. Wait, I found a place in Taco no Dobaba, which is in between Shinjuku and Shibuya. And then I have it for the whole month because I'm there for the whole month. And how much does that cost? $1,800. That's not bad. No, it's. Dude, our last place was like 25 Yeah, 26. no, that's great. Yeah, actually. So, and it's smaller. Like, it's definitely smaller. Hold up. Wow. Right, it looks smaller in the pictures. It's just me and you. Yeah. yeah. And what we'll do. We'll do since we have that apartment already we'll just decide when you get there when to go to osaka and we'll just book a fucking like baller hotel for a night or two there's no way to split it up. trying to save a couple of dollars to like we don't need the apartment for these three four five nights yeah, is going like, to end up costing you more money that. so you might as well keep an apartment you gotta keep a tokyo spot you keep yeah. your apartment in tokyo and then you travel so we might just go to osaka for like two three days yeah i mean we're just, yeah we're not gonna yeah. do it. i mean i might go do shit before you get there. yeah I think it's also a good idea to have a main base yeah. so if you do go to a soccer for just a couple days you can just bring like backpack yeah. instead of carry on yeah and if you get lost you know where to go back to ah uh -huh. very smart mm -hmm. you can't do this wait you cannot 
do this. Okay. This is an international package. Oh yeah, I didn't realize. You are trying to take dude. This dude, yeah. right, what is so going on is do. that he thought he could just make a tape barrier. A like an air bubble. Like a, like a Nike yeah. air bubble clear tape bubble. Yeah. There's a nice big box right here that you could use. No, that's hold on though. We have a lot of shoes. Let's fucking get bigger Let's, boxes. No, well, I may have to go to the post office. Well go to the post office. Board. It's 9 30 in the morning. This is not happening. Okay. What the fuck is wrong with you? You didn't even let me finish. I, I'm glad. What's I'm glad that I actually <laughs> looked down and saw what you were doing. Look at this air gap. What the fuck? That's what? not finished yet. You, why don't you be real classy? Take the top off this Pizza Hut box. Yeah. I ate that last night. I wasn't supposed to. But you I didn't did. eat it last night. I was thinking that right, putting so underneath it, but there is still the air gap. So I was going to really seal it off good. No. But we'll, we'll get it out. It of needs there. to be sealed off with cardboard. It has to go internationally. I, I get it. They're gentle and fucking. What shoe is that? How much is that shoe even worth? All right. We'll fucking get a box. Switch it up for. Yeah, let's switch it up. David Miller. You got a scammer on eBay? Like, what the fuck? No, you dude, moonlighting as an eBay scammer? <laughs> Thank God I grabbed the fucking camera. I have to book today. Yeah, book your ticket right now. You gotta train do you want, well, train do you want me to just book it? I don't mind doing it. If you want to You're never gonna get any fucking wear with your status. You might as well let no, me No, I fucking... am, dude. I'm about to hit gold. You gotta let me do it. I got, I got, This I, is ridiculous. I got you still I'm, get, dude, I'm at now with Japan. This is how you get to gold. You have to reach. Like, every, whenever you're booking these fucking crazy international hold up, Philly, no, we're not going to Philly. We're going to Narita. Omar's yeah, tough. that's what we gotta check your phone again. I know that annoy you because you showed me eight times. We're gonna do it one more. Come inside. Right. Omar, come inside. Dude, come inside. He's just like, no, you come outside. Come in. <laughs> I'm gonna do funny fourth just to be safe. So Ooh, there. That's oh, I'm big right. fucking six. Oh. Glad your wife's letting you go for six days. Japan for six days. By the time you get over the jet lag, it's gonna be over. Dude, Dude. 637 round trip. What? She and then, okay, now the one going back, you gotta look yours up again. Today I air fried bacon and I fucking ate it before it came out of the fryer. Or I mean, I ate it before I could film. I didn't eat it before it came out of the fryer because that would be something special. This guy is still in here packing away. Sort of, yeah. Push the hands together. I am, you know. Reopen. You like. That's what you put as many layers as you want on there. Damn, that's a. First round of air fried bacon. All boxed up. Boxed out. Whoa. Never boxed in. Shelf. Shelf. The shoe shelf. Debris. I need another big box for this guy. Yeah, yo, yeah. Yeah, you think? Yeah. Yeah, you put that one together. Look at that wall of hype, son! There's a lot of not hype on there. No. There's some below retail steals on there. These. Right here. About to get three more colors of those and call it a life. Get them Asian ones I got. No, I want those. They're dropping like five new colors. They're dropping a yellow pair. Oh, let's see. I don't know if this was actually not glow in the dark or not. So I'll put it outside. It may just be stupid. Oh, it glows. I can see it. Yeah, I was wrong about Temp Tech. It, this Temp Tech glows in the dark. FedEx didn't leave my koala package. So I gotta go get that. Ugh. Chipping. Sorry about the failure for coming. Let me tell you about Chipotle. Oh, they're weeds trash. You love Chipotle. I hate Chipotle. I Since when? I like Cordoba. Cordoba. I don't like Chipotle. You know, they have to stop at three places to pick up a fork because they passed you... the fork and napkins on the way out and didn't know he had to grab one. So Chipotle. because they didn't give you the fork? There was no explanation. And then Brandy tells me. Wait, 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 wait. There was no explanation? They just yeah. hand you it to go. They don't give you a bag. They don't give you a napkin. They just. Wait, literally... so it wasn't even in a bag and you still fucking didn't grab a fork? Yeah. Yeah. You do think that you sh they should have the fork attached to the side so there you can shimmy be. out some foil? It's not my job to get the fork. And then. What? Yeah, it's always your job to get the fork. And then Brandy tells me if you call the hat, like if you order online in your phone, you pick it up with a bag, a fork, the whole thing. So of course. Because I go in there and I say, I want this. Why even ask me if it's to go? Hold up. Would you describe, would you describe Chipotle as what kind of style, uh, the way that you order? What kind of style? Fast food? No, more Self. like, mm, you're close, close. It's a something that reminds you of school cafeteria do you do you, huh? just answer the questions as they come sir do you or do you not grab your own utensils in a cafeteria because you eat in a cafeteria though but cafeteria, still you never get the to-go option why ask me do you want this have you ever sir? tried let's go to a cafe they, no it's bullshit it doesn't mm. happen at Kenoba. why not just say to me here you go sir you can help yourself to a fork over there <laughs> why would they have to say it, it to you thing, what like, did you think the where would you think the fork what was? Service? There was no service. Exactly. Who doesn't think it, they need a fork? <laughs> dude, 
they should give you forks. Uh, McDonald's gives you silverware. No, they don't. If you get a to go, you don't get your to go bag and then go. What are you getting? McDonald's breakfast? Are you the only person left on the planet getting McDonald's breakfast plate? Like, what are you? What? No. What do you eat with a knife and fork at McDonald's? Yeah. Most of the time, they don't yeah. even give you ketchup if you unless you ask for it. You straight up have to ask for they ketchup. Give you your drive through. No, they yeah. definitely don't give you that shit in drive through. Taco Bell. To go <laughs> restaurants won't even give you a fork a lot of times, no. and that's in a. I can, if it was in a bag, I can understand. Why did you stop at three places for a fork? <laughs> What, what did you stop at the next Chinese restaurant and then First, like a I stopped at straw the warehouse? Across the street, they didn't have anything that even had spoons to stir with. Why didn't you just go back to Chipotle? I did. Then the parking <laughs> was full, so I was so mad that I didn't want to go back in that I then left. And on the way back, I stopped at 7 Eleven where finally I found a fork and I was forced to buy a Red Bull that I didn't even want just, just to get so the that fork. I could steal the fucking fork because I pocketed the fork and I was like, I'm about to walk out of here. Even though it was a free fork, I still felt like I was stealing. I'm sure you could have been like, hey. Hey, so just grabbing a fork. Decided to not get himself lunch because yeah, because again, now I'm on the aisle. This is a whole thing. Go, I walked into a whole situation. Go, what do you want? I said burrito bowl. He makes a burrito bowl. We start going down the line. I'm about to back. I also want a burrito for me. But at that point, he passed me off and he's on to the next guy. And I'm like, yo, fuck you. He chipotle you. Give me my shit to go. And then they don't give me a fork. I didn't even get my lunch. Fuck it. It's shitty service. You're having a rough one. Let's. And Brandy's been defending Chipotle until the day she dies. So let me explain how this works, okay? Did you pass the desk, sir? I'm like, yeah, I did. There was nine people at. I couldn't even see the soda machine because there's so many fucking people trying to get their to-go shit. Probably now looking back, everyone's there trying to get forks. Why not just give it to them with their to-go? I'm surprised they give you a cup for a drink. You don't just have to fucking put it in your hands. I mean, Jesus Christ. I hate Chipotle. Cadoba for life. Yeah, no. They're fucking whack-ass queso anyway. Get your dirty hands off my oh, painting. <laughs> it's only took me ten hours to outline. Fuck. Them. All right, well, so mad at me because he it's amazing. No, no, I'm not mad at you. I was mad at Chipotle, and you start defending Chipotle, and I'm because like, what are you me, fucking? Because the you told me three times that you didn't pass the forks and napkins on the way out. You're like, no, I didn't. Yeah, you definitely did. Right? I no, like, I may have yeah. physically passed them, but I could not right visually see them past the twelve people right all down, trying right to get their to-go gear, and then there's to go of, gear. <laughs> <laughs> to go gear. Like a weirdo walking yeah. out with just a tin foil container in my hand. I'm like, this is it, huh? Seven fifty. This is all I get. That's all I get. Not even a reach around, eh? Yeah, seven bucks, pretty cheap for a whole meal. He's got me asking for extra pinto beans. I hate asking for extra shit. Why? This is why when we ordered quesaritos, you always pretended like it was. <laughs> Ern used to when we ordered quesaritos this back in the day. Ern would pretend to be a stranger and be like, wait, wait, what? What did he just order? Oh, I'll have that. Hang on. Fuck you, Chipotle. I'm pissed. Because Somebody send him some Chipotle. Somebody like, say my This man. all started because you get because you get fucking a half a cents a mile. I thought it was five cents a mile. I'm like, I'm gonna go somewhere where I can add to my miles. What are we talking about now? I get mileage if I get certain food. So I said if I go to Chipotle. What do you mean mileage where? Like United mileage. Like I have You're a obsessed with going gold. Have, yeah. You're not <laughs> yeah. going to be gold. No. You don't get all that before then it's gone. You're back to nothing. You're nothing. You're a regular. Yeah, he also no. has us going no. to eat dinner at Texas Roadhouse. Yeah, I get extra oh. points. Wait, you have plans to go to Texas? Roadhouse? That's more, that's the most depressing. That's yeah. so depressing. I I, uh, you want the points, huh? Video. Which you, points? <laughs> Y'all know the only thing there that worth is anything is the free bread. No. Yes, but no. Go ahead, upgrade. Let's Dude, hear it. I am going to find a way to beat the system. I would what system? Oh, is this what you were talking about earlier? Yes. <laughs> you were going to beat the United System? Yes. You're eating bullshit. Like pizza right you now. are screaming. Hey. You are screaming. I think they left already, but oh. it's screaming. I think that, it yeah, they left it. They were supposed to check out at 11, but. Okay. But yes, stop yelling. <laughs> yeah, this all started because I want to get points up, but I thought it was five miles per dollar. So I'm like, if I spend 10 bucks, that's 50 miles. That's great, but no, it's 0. 0.5. So I end up making fucking Nothing. shitty I, yeah, three miles. Please make sure you get the right shirt. Yeah, don't be sending wrong shirts again. You're Which already... one? One of these was black. Yeah, you need to pay attention. Stop worrying about these points. You can do some of that hair. Look like a roadie for REM. We're at the dispensary. Can you be mad at you? I have the magic card in my phone. On my wallet is at the shop in my car. Where we literally just came from. Fuck. What? It's so frustrating. Yeah, being your friend? I know. <laughs> Tell me about it. You know, we have to choose who you love these days. I ain't going that way, Larry. You ain't really Scotty Pippen. You just wearing his jersey. You need to shut up. You ain't calling those shots for real. We've come home. We've dabbed. Done everything we needed to do. It's time to go paint. Finally. You got it. All right. All right, you too. Bye-bye.
few missed flights. I had to add some miles. I've been on a I've been on a hunt for miles. Oh my um, gosh! So so he's in here trying to. Wait, he's supposed to be in here working. He's wait, in here doing miles for wait, his United. First of all, I did all my. I, last time Japan to LA, they missed four thousand miles. Wow! They also missed Dallas. They missed a lot of things. Mm. Fittingly enough, just in time. shop. Teddy ain't here yet. Got a few shirts that uh, the printers forgot to print on the front of, so bringing them back to the printers and getting this sorted out. Oh, it's 10. It's a lot later than I thought. <laughs> I thought it was closer to 8. Ern is out running around. We're gonna paint. All day. Alright, so we got like two and a half hours in this morning. So far, 12.30, uh, six and a half hours so far painting. We're going to get, I'm going home real quick just to take a dab. Ern is over there finishing off the shoe sale, shipping, a couple of fuck ups. Clothing shipping, still finishing up, but. Thank you. 